All right, so what's been going on with you lately, Gecko Mon? Well, um, well, first thing you should know is I've just been playing uh, Dying Light 2. How um, is it? Very good game, but I also like the di- the first Dying Light, and I know you're not the biggest fan of it. I mean, I only played a total of like five minutes of it, <laughs> but I was not a big fan. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I like it just because there's a lot more aspects of the game in it. You a, a sneak mechanic. There's I do love sneaking. That's you know, true. Um, there's the whole mechanic of you have like if you like just to the, just when I was playing it recently, I had entered a building that was way full of zombies and i thought they had already exited the building but they hadn't um because at night more zombies come out um but um i had entered the building they were still in there i'm like dag navit and i woken them all up and i was trapped (laughs) uh how far into the game are you uh not too far i'm still on the very first part um, in Dying Light 1, there's two maps. In Dying Light 2, there are two maps. But I hear that the second part of Dying Light 2, the second map that you go to, is bigger, better, stronger, mightier. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be, like, New York City, I feel like, I think. Okay. Uh, any, anything else? Um, Other than that, I've also been really excited for a Star Wars game coming out. What game? Um, I forget when it's supposed to come out. I don't want to say it comes out this year, but I really want uh, Star Wars. I really want to say Solus. I forget what it's called now. Dang damn it! Um, but it, it was created by the same people who made uh, Detroit Become Human. It's gonna be. Um, so it's gonna be a choice base game, and I'm really excited okay. to see that. Like. Especially because I love Detroit Become Human so much. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like... Eclipse? Eclipse. That's, why, why, why was it getting solstice? <laughs> um, yeah, like, it, it's... Um, this says it's coming out 2026 or 2027. Oh, I give up on life. <laughs> if it's taken that long, then... Uh, it could be coming in 2024. So, at least a couple years away. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, these the these people, I believe, work very hard on their games. Like, if you actually play Detroit Become Human. Nope, never played it. I've watched a little bit of you and other people playing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's a really good game. Really good game. Alrighty. Anything for you? Well, I have not had much time to game recently. Um, I have been writing some stories, which has taken up a lot of my time. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go into that more in later podcasts. But yeah, I've been writing some stories, mm-hmm. and uh, I also have been reading a lot of scripts. So this is kind of interesting. I oh. read No Way Home script finally came out. And so I read that the other night. Stayed up way too late reading it. Uh, really fast, where do you get these scripts? You just go online and you're like... Yeah, you can Google basically any movie script and it most likely has been released and you can just download it. Oh, okay. I might do that for No Way Home because I really like the movie. So. so it's a really, really, really good script. I loved reading it. <laughs> um, a lot of things you can derive from the script that you can't necessarily get reading it. That, you know, motion and stuff. But something that I found really interesting was in the final scene. When well, it's not the final final scene, but the final scene when um Peter is talking to MJ. Really? Yeah. So a couple of things. So the when um let me pull up the script so I don't forget anything. <laughs> but when they're talking and oh, are they talking before she forgets or no? This is after. after. Okay. This is after. This is a flex. Final time when they're in the coffee shop. And it says, uh, he's like, are you excited for MJ? And she's like, uh, well, first says that she must like, uh, must have thought, oh, he heard me and Ned talking. So that's why he knows. And then she's like, right. Yeah. Well, I actually, I am excited, which is weird. Cause I don't really get excited about things. I kind of expect disappointment. And then he comes in and says, cause then you'll never actually be disappointed. Right. And, 
it kind of like goes in on her face there. And this is what the directions say. It says, a flicker of deja vu on her face. Oh. Then recovering, she says. Uh, yeah, right. So, deja vu. You know, that could be, you know, her maybe recollecting. But that is reinforced later when he then, at the end when he says... Uh, you know, about her face. And she's like, yeah, it doesn't hurt anymore. And then he's just like, all right, thanks. And she's like, no problem. And then it says, he looks over and says, I'll be seeing you. He walks out the door and it says, for the camera, hold on MJ. So the camera holds on MJ. And it says, watching Peter go with a lingering sense of dot, 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 recognition. <gasps> oh, Question mark. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's so nice. yes, it leaves it where it's like open ended because it's like a question mark. Does she recognize? But clearly, there is a hint of it there, right? She does maybe recognize. There's clearly she. It could be whereas, like you know, it reminds her of somebody. Mm-hmm. It could be where, you know, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange's <laughs> spell didn't work on her. You know, it could be the whole thing like love's too strong, you know. Or it could just be that, you know, there is that deja vu happening, right? She feels like this is somebody she's talked to. They're saying things that she recognizes, things like that. But yeah, that was really interesting to read. Um, I think that there's, I, I'm very, very excited to see just like where they go with that. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, Hearing you read that and me saying that I want to read it, um, that's actually very interesting because, you know, we're expecting, you know, newer movies of Spider-Man, of this Spider-Man specifically. Right. Um, and so now I'm really excited to see what happens in the, these movies because now I'm just like, I want to see this now. <laughs> like, I would love to see, like, maybe some... To be honest, I would like to see MJ kind of just beating up Peter Parker. <laughs> like, uh, and like, being angry that he didn't like, come back. Uh, like, uh, Thor 2. Um, what's her face? Jane Foster and <laughs> Thor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Slapping him. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Wow. Yeah. I was. That was super, super fun to, yeah, the, I, the script was, yeah, so well written. It was, oh, really, really cool to read. You should definitely read it if you get a chance. Um, Things I'm excited for, Apex Season 12 Ooh. came out today, which will be yesterday. But I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, haven't got to play any of it yet. Of course, I have no time on my hands, but... Uh, I'm pretty excited to play. I think a lot of the balancing that they finally are doing should be good. Um, the new game mode I'm not too big on, but it could be fun. I prefer mm-hmm. just straight up battle royales than like team teams and stuff. But um, that should be fun. I think that changes to the characters should be really good. So well, yeah. Um, uh, speaking of changes to the characters. I know we're getting a change to caustic. I know. Yep. I believe we're. Aren't we getting a change to uh, crypto? Uh, crypto. Yeah. So caustic, his barrels will be able to be destroyed while they're letting out gas, which I think is a good change. I don't think it's going to affect casual play that much, but it'll affect competitive a lot. Um, and then crypto, he'll be able to. I'm not sure because I haven't played yet. I haven't. I haven't watched any gameplay of him specifically. I'm not a big. I don't played crypto so i didn't really care but it's i think it's a good change where he's not going to be like locked in his drone as much um so crypto players will be able to go in and out of the drone easier and not just be stuck in the drone when they're looking around yeah um which i think is a good change hopefully it doesn't make him op um i don't think it will um he's not but he might get picked more in competitive which would be good i think for competitive it will make more play styles um, viable, which I think is always good to have yeah. more teams playing more play styles and competitive. And then, I mean, he's not picked too much in um, in casual, and he probably will go up a little bit. 
Mm-hmm. Um, any other characters that? Um, no one that has gotten big changes. Um, I, oh, I am excited, pretty excited for Man Maggie. Her ability set seems like something oh, yeah. I'd be, who I would like to play. Yeah. Um, I Is think she's supposed to play a assault character. I guess I'm pretty sure she's a assault character. She's very like speed based attack. Oh, okay. So yeah. Her tactical is a grenade that can a fire grenade that goes through walls, which is pretty sick. Um, her ultimate is a giant ball that rolls at you and hurts you, but it drops speed. She's not the ball itself, is she? No. Okay. But and it drops speed boosts as it goes. So if you hit the speed boost, it, you run faster, which I think is pretty cool. And then I think her passive is a little OP. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but based on like the patch notes and stuff, she will see targets that she's damaged for a little bit, like through wall, like wall hacks for a second. I so guess. kind of like a seer almost. Well, yeah, but it's who she's damaged, not who she's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't have to hit them with tactile. It's just if she's damaged them. I don't know exactly how that works. And then she has well, like, I mean, and then I think it's just with shotguns too. Because I know she has some like a different animation where she picks up shotguns faster and like loads them faster and stuff part of her passive so i'm not exactly sure how it works because i haven't watched enough gameplay but it seems a little op i'm guessing it'll get nerfed a little bit yeah well you do not need more tracking champions like yeah. that um so but i'm pretty excited to play her um hopefully she's not as op as seer was when he first came out but she's Seer, Seer's still amazing in my book i'm not saying he's not i'm just saying he was op when he first came out it was ridiculous <laughs> um Okay, well now I'm excited for the new character. Like I would love yeah. to. Play. Um and I am kind of excited for the game mode. It I think it'll be fun. Um no, um, way better than arenas hopefully. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> let's let's Um I'm also excited to go to the theaters again next week. I'll be going to watch Uncharted. Oh yeah. I'm not exactly excited for the movie. It doesn't look very fun, yeah. but Going to movies is it always fun. So. Will be interesting to see uh, Tom Holland in a different role. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him in quite a f- actually few that movies reminds now. Me. But I, after seeing him in like uh, The Devil All the Time and such, I am pretty excited to see him. He's a he is a good actor for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so here's the thing: I've actually recently watched a little video of him actually playing Uncharted Four. Okay. Was that fun? Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I loved it. He doesn't know how to drive a car in that in the game. Does anybody? <laughs> True. In video games, they just make driving cars so difficult. Um, but yeah, it was just so funny to watch. Just watch him just try uh, just try to play the game. And he says he played it before. Um which with how he played, <laughs> I have my suspicions. Hey, hey, some <laughs> people just aren't natural gamers, okay? Okay. <laughs> so watch make fun of us, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was very enjoyable to watch him play and play the game. So, um, yeah, so it was kind of interesting. He does, they do talk about the movie, but I was more focused on his gameplay than them talking about the movie. Right. I think from what I understand it as, I think there's a car chase in the video game that happens that they wanted to add to the movie that they won't be adding to the movie. I think that's the only thing I caught from the movie talk. Okay. Anything else you're excited for coming out? Um, other than like, so yeah, I know we I know we actually talked about this in our previous uh, uh, episode um, four of our back and forth. Um, but what of what's coming out? I think the only thing I'm more interested in is the whole Mandalorian season three. That's a ways away, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is in December. <laughs> Um, but like I would, I'm very interested to see the whole dark saber coming in, seeing how the Mandalorian is with the dark saber, even though we kind of already got that in Bo- Boba Fett and like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, and I mean, yeah, like not really the biggest fan of them going back in time again with the whole Andor and, uh, Obi Wan, even though I'm a little more Gotta excited, milk it for what they can. True, but uh, I guess I'm I am more excited to see Obi Wan Kenobi than Andor. Even though I did get some. Oh, 
So actually, I'll say this now since I forgot to say it in our previous episode. Um, yep. Andor apparently is supposed to be more of a spy show. Interesting. That cheeks my interest. So it might actually be very interesting because we've never really seen Star Wars in spy times. <laughs> James Bond meets Star Wars. <laughs> um, cool, cool. I'm also excited that Professional Disc Golf starts this weekend. Oh, yeah. We, I really need to get out and play disc golf again. Like, seriously, I haven't played. If it would warm up, I'd go play. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, get to watch All Star Weekend this weekend if I have any time to watch that. I know you said a uh, certain somebody won't be complaining. Yeah, Paul McBeth won't be there. Neither will Ricky Wysocki, but it'll still be fun. Yeah, it'll yeah, still be yeah. fun. Um, All right, should we move on to our next segment? Or you got anything else? No, I mean, unless you have. Yeah, unless you want to talk about Moon Knight that's coming out. Um, unless sure, we could talk about that. You got any? You, do you have any questions about it? I mean, we we should have talked about it <laughs> in our previous. Episode. I mean, I mentioned that it was coming out, but like, there's just been nothing new, and I know that they're coming out with the um, Marvel has like two Super Bowl slots. Oh, yeah, so right. so the must be... the Super Bowl ads, I'm guessing, will be either a Moon Knight trailer, a Multiverse of Madness trailer or one of each. So I'm guessing we'll get new information next week. But okay. I don't well, know. Yeah. Um, I am very right? excited. In the Super Bowl this weekend, I think. I am very excited to see uh, Moon Knight. Like, <clears throat> he's a character that's very dark for Disney. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I oh, that is one thing I'm very excited about is the fact that they're bringing darker characters to Disney, and um, if that if they're actually like dark, gritty TV, it's not Disneyed up to be on Disney Plus. If it's actually dark and gritty and uh, even like horror esque, I will be. That would be so cool, so cool oh, to bring. Someone's a little dark here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. Wow. Well, let's move on. All right. Moving on to some back and forth after after party trivia, where uh, Gecko Man and I will be asked random trivia questions that we do not know yet, and we'll get points for each one we get right. And if somebody gets it wrong, the other one can steal the point. What's the first question? Uh, the first one's for Gecko. Ooh. Um. Which arm did Bucky lose? Which arm did Bucky lose? Oh no, I know I've um the left arm. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> uh for Rogue Gambit, what were lightsabers originally called? Going to be called. <laughs> oh boy. Um What were lightsabers originally going to be called? Light swords. That's correct. Yes. Wow, that's impressive. I am impressed. <laughs> uh, for Gecko yeah, Man. I have no idea. <laughs> what was Mjolnir forged in? Oh, I know this. I absolutely. Um, oh, what's the name? It's the forge something, I feel like. I want to say. Um, oh. Shut it, Rogue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just going to take a random guess because I cannot think of the name. The Forge of... Uh, I think you're trying to say Nivitalier, but the answer is the heart of a dying star. Those are both true. What? <laughs> Nivitalier is where they go to craft Stormbreaker, which is also where Mjolnir was crafted, and it is in the heart of a dying star. That's... Now, I continue. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue, who gave Palpatine emergency power in Attack of the Clones? Like, one person is the Senate. Um, who specifically? Uh... Padme Amdala? That is incorrect. Jar Jar Binks. That's correct. 
What? <laughs> I don't know how I don't know that. Uh, the reason is is probably just because the wording of the question here. Um, it, it, the one who was able to convince the Senate to give the Chancellor emergency powers. Oh, okay. I don't even remember that, so I wouldn't have got it right anyways. Uh, Can you update us on the scoring? I think it's two me, one him. That's no No, I'm... it's two, two. Wait, two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 50-50. <laughs> uh, Gecko, what is Pepper Potts allergic to? Oh, no, I'm drawing a blank. I know this. Because I've watched the movie so many times. I know what movie it's from. Uh, I really want to say... Is it strawberries? That's correct. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thought I was going to get one there. <laughs> I really wanted to say cherries. I was debating between strawberries and raspberries, but I was 99% sure it was strawberries. <laughs> Uh, Rogue, what's the Mandalorian's n real name? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he literally, Gecko just said this yesterday. And of course, I was not paying attention. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It is pronounced Din Djarin. That's right. Ah, oh, I was yeah. I should have I should have known that. I knew I knew those last name started with a J. I just or J sound. I don't know how it's spelled. <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you, but the his last name actually is spelled D J. But yeah, <laughs> man, I'm just over here giggling in my seat. <laughs> Gecko, in which movie did Captain America say Avengers Assemble? Oh man, why am I? No, it's it... oh no, it's Endgame. That's correct. Oh, I wanted to say Infinity War so bad. Man, but yeah, I was hoping you'd say Infinity War. Rogue, what creature is Luke riding at the start of Empire Strikes Back? Uh, a. Well, I know the creature's on that planet, but he's not riding one. Because there's Wampas on the planet. But I don't think he's riding a I'm going to say Wampa. That's incorrect. Uh, he's... <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you. Wampas are ginormous apes. What you're wanting to say is Tauntaun. <laughs> correct. I mean, I knew that it wasn't a Wampa, but that's, that's the only creature I know that lives on that planet. Um, I don't think Tauntauns ta ta are originally from the planet. They are just more, they are the best creature for the planet. Well, for them to use on the planet. There we go. Gecko, what is Thor's voice recognition password for the Quinjet in Ragnarok? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh. No. <laughs> I'm torn between two names. No, 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 no. Is it, is it, is it, I don't know, which, it's two words, I know it. Is it point break? That's correct. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought I had one there. Uh, Rogue, where did Yoda spend his last days? The Slum Swamp Planet. I don't know what it's called. Uh... Yeah, I have no clue. My years of training has brought me to this moment. Daguba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that I, I wouldn't have thought of that in a million years. I don't know what just came out. Do I still get the point? <laughs> no, that, that's correct. Okay, I just said it so weird. <laughs> so I'm down by three or four. Uh, Gecko's gotten a lot right. You, you haven't. I think I have two, and he has either five or six. 
Yeah, he's six. Okay. Let the glory begin. Uh, whose turn is it? <laughs> Gecko in Iron Man two. Uh, that, yes, that's right. In Iron Man two, what fake name does Black Widow give Tony Stark? Oh no! Why does it have to be a named question? Um. Hold, oh man, I gotta replay that scene in my head here. So he, he does the punching. No, no, yeah, and they say Natalie. Is it Natalie something? I can't think of the last name. Some weird Russian last name. Uh, <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> Do you have a last name? Guess. Um, Natalie. Uh, Smart frisbee. <laughs> I don't remember either. I could give Gecko half a point. Yeah, sure. I, I try to remember the last name. It's and I can remember very vividly what Baron von Zemo's or Baron yeah, Baron Zemo says. No. Yeah. Natalia Romanovna. Cannot remember what she gives Tony Stark. What is it? Natalie Rushmore. Rushmore. Ah, oh, I yeah. I had a Rushman in my head, and I was like, no, nah, that's not it. Dang it. Uh, Rogue. The Jedi Council consists of how many Jedi's? I believe it. I'm just gonna go with I got a seven. That's incorrect. No, this one is my knowledge is very little on. Um, so there's Mace Windu, there's Yoda, and there's Obi Wan Kenobi, and this is during the Clone Wars times, not like any other time in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, because <laughs> if we're talking about like you know Mandalorian times, it's just Luke's. Yeah. No, okay. Um, I would, I want to say there's about nine. That's also incorrect. What? The answer is 12. 12? Man, there must have been three off screen that I was not thinking about. <laughs> or at least on the very edge of the screen. Uh, Gecko, what was Thor's last words to Loki before Thanos kills Loki? Oh, no. Um, so, let's see. I know Loki was talking to Thanos about joining Thanos. But what does, what does, I think Thor sees the dagger and he's like, Loki, no, or something like that. That's incorrect. What? <laughs> well, when he sees the dagger, he says, mm -mm -mm. but um, before that, he does say something like negative to him because he's like trying to sell the whole. I'm going to betray you. Um, man, I haven't seen Infinity Wars in a hot minute. Or Endgame, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Infinity Wars. Uh, something brother. Ah, oh, something. I can't remember the word before brother. I don't know. You really are the worst brother. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, um, I when you were talking about it there, I thought it was I trusted you, brother. Yeah, I was leaning towards something like that too. All right, Rogue. Man, I'm gonna have to start getting some of these right. <laughs> Which clone trooper gave the signal to shoot Obi Wan Kenobi during Order sixty six? Um, <laughs> the la I, I literally have not seen this movie in like twelve years. Um, is it one? Is like is it one of the ones that have a name? So I can only think of three names. So I gotta go with Rex. That's incorrect. <laughs> Rex was never in the live action. Actually, no, he. 
Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, it was Commander Cody. That's correct. And if you know your Star Wars history, the 212th was Commander Cody. I did not know that, but I did know that I, Commander Cody was one of the days that I did remember. I just had no idea who he was. <laughs> uh, Gecko, which fast food restaurant does Tony Stark get his cheeseburger in the first Iron Man? Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, you, I saw your little movement there. Like, you give up. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're just going to get it. Like, this is very easy. Oh, man. I, the thing is, I haven't, in, in the first Iron Man, right? Yeah. Well, oh, man, I haven't seen the first Iron Man in a long time. So, oh, uh, I really want to say, it, like, Big Judd's. No, I do not believe Big Judd's uh, exist anywhere near him in Malibu. Uh, Burger King. That's correct. Uh, Rogue. Uh, what What was Galen Erso's nickname for his daughter? I have no idea who Galen Erso is. In Rogue One. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I uh, Judy. That's incorrect. Oh, no. I should know this one because I love... Um, I know he says my little before he says the, the nickname. My little... I keep having moonshine come. Um, Is that your final answer? No. Uh, my little... It has something to do with a star. Uh, I'll, I'll, my final answer will just be my little star. <laughs> oh, that's close. It's Stardust. Stardust! But I'm not going to give the point. <laughs> well, I... Oh, man, I'm so angry. I didn't get that. We got to be perfect now to beat you, so I think you're in a good spot. Well, good luck with that. Because I'm going to get this one right. Uh, oh. uh, Gecko, what does TVA stand for in Loki? TVA, why did you have to mention an acronym? Um, I really, is it the Time Variance Avoidance Agency or something like that? That's close, but not correct. Time Variant Authority, that's oh. correct. Oh, I thought you might have had it there. I was I was getting nervous. Well, I knew there was an A in there somewhere. <laughs> well, good good work. At least you do it started with an A. Uh, Rogue in the Clone Wars. I don't know. <laughs> what are the Mandalorian extremist group who despise the pacifist government of Mandalore called? Oh gosh. I can picture because the dude that like ends up being the my goodness, it's the black the the black or the dark just something like that. Um, the black evil people. I don't know. That's incorrect. You're getting black from the dark saber, but it is the Death Watch. That's correct. Ah, oh, man, I do something. Ah, oh, dang it! Yeah, I should have got that. I definitely should have got that. All right, All right what do we got? What did Aunt May's tombstone read in No Way Home? Oh no. <laughs> um. Well, I know it. You think I, I'm watching a movie. You think I have time to read these type of, type of details? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I want to say it's something, it's something about helping, helping people. Is it, oh, you know what? Screw, screw that. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it was the line, she, the line she says to Peter. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, with great power must also come great responsibility. That's incorrect. Okay, I don't remember the last word, but it's help someone help either the world or yourself. I think it's the world. Help someone help. No, help someone help. Help someone help the world. That's close, but not it. It's ah. when you help someone, you help everyone. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, that's right. Like I said, I <laughs> I have a hard time reading things while, while I'm watching a movie, but I really need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> yeah, I, sh- I definitely should have got that. All right, this is the last question. All righty. Um, what is the rule of two in Star Wars? The... the f- I know what it is. I don't know how to. Ex- so it's when, I guess I'll just explain it because I don't know how else to answer this question. It's the fact that there can only ever be two Sith, a uh, master and apprentice. Because once the apprentice becomes the master, he's supposed to kill his master and take on his own apprentice. Yeah, that's correct. Should we really say that's correct? Because technically, and I can go into detail about this very heavily, the fact is. It's the apprentice that tr- it's the becoming a master requires the apprentice to actually kill the master. So he doesn't become a master and then kills the master. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I meant. That I like. I knew that's what it was. But yeah, okay. I should have said to become, not he becomes, and then yes, you are correct. I'm sorry. Is there any more uh, questions that, here? No, that, that was it. All right. Yeah. So. The score is Gecko has 8.5 and Rogue has 5. Nice. Good work, Gecko Man. I just want to say it was an honor to uh, compete against you and that I utterly destroyed you. Yes, you did. And even though there was two that I should have got right, I still would have lost. So you would have won either way. All right. And I think that about does it for our trivia. Yep, that is the uh, back and forth after after party. Hope you all like this new type of podcast. Hopefully we'll be releasing every week. So keep an eye out for that. And also just know that it will be coming out on the day right after our main back and forth podcast. So keep an eye out. See you all next time.